In this example, we're going to do a simple proof using contradiction. We are going to work with the sets A, B, and C, and our starting assumptions are that A intersect B is a subset of C, and also that the element X is in the set B. And what we're going to do is we're going to prove that X is not an element of A difference C. So these are our starting assumptions, the fact that A intersect B is a subset of C, and the element X is in B. And what we're trying to prove is that X is not an element of the set A difference C. So this is what we want to prove. When you work with contradiction to prove something, what you do is you negate the thing that you're trying to prove, and then you show that that negation ends up violating some starting assumption or some other assumption in your problem. So here, the thing that we want to prove is X is not an element of A difference C. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by negating that, and we're going to assume that the negation of it is true. So the negation of x not an element of a different c is x is an element of a different c. So we're going to start off right here by assuming that x is an element of a diff c. So what does that mean? Well, if x is an element of a diff c, that means that x is in a, and x is not in C. That's what it means to be in the difference between two sets. You're definitely in A, and you're not in C. So we've just written out what it means to be in the difference of these two things. Let's go back to one of our starting assumptions now and use that. We were told as one of our starting assumptions that x is in B. So let's look at this. We've established that x is in A, and we've also, from our starting assumption, established that x is in b. So if we combine these two things, if it's in both a and b, then x has to be in the intersection of a and b. Okay, so now we've kind of deduced that x is in a intersect b. If we go back to one of our starting assumptions, one of our starting assumptions was that a intersect b was a subset of c. So look what we just had. We had that x is in a intersect b, and A intersect B is a subset of C, so that means X has to be in C. So we've now deduced, using this starting assumption that X is an element of A different C, we've deduced that X is not an element of C. But this doesn't make any sense, because just a second ago, we wrote down from our starting assumption that X is not an element of A diff C, that this means that X isn't A and X is, isn't in C. So two lines ago, we said x is not an element of c, and now we've deduced that x is an element of c. So that doesn't make any sense. So that's a contradiction. And it's at this point now that we can conclude that the assumption that we started with, namely x is an element of a diff c, that that has to be false because it resulted in something that was nonsensical or a contradiction. So x, an element of a diff c, has to be false. So that means... The negation of it is true. So if x, an element of a diff c, is false, then that means x is not an element of a diff c. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. That's what we wanted to show, that x was not an element of a diff c. We could have done it directly, probably, but in this example, we've used contradiction. And with contradiction, the, the strategy is always very similar. Take what you want to prove, assume the opposite, get something that doesn't make any sense, and then you can go back to concluding what you wanted.